Voting has begun in Pakistan in an election marred by big controversies. As far as the security situation is concerned, that seems to be worsening. Reports are coming in that mobile phone services have been suspended in the country. The election has been scarred by a rising uh, militant attacks as well as an economic crisis and a deeply polarized political environment. And many analysts believe that there's no clear winner that's emerging at the moment. We have my colleague uh, Vishal uh, joining us uh, to get us more on this. Uh, Vishal, on a day... Uh, with the, the country going to pause, they, firstly, the internet services have been impacted. That's right, Divya. So the Interior Ministry of Pakistan has just released a statement in which it has said that uh, mobile phone services has been suspended in the country. It's because they have they've cited yesterday's uh, twin blast in Balochistan province. More than two dozen people were killed in that blast. So uh, it, uh, the, the whole country is on a high alert. Uh, the Interior Ministry of Pakistan. Uh, has said that uh, it doesn't want any further casualties in the country. So uh, it could be one of the reasons why the uh, internet service, uh, the mobile phone services has been have been uh, impacted and suspended. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the polling in the country has begun. Uh, it started at around 8 a.m. local time and it will go on until about 5 p.m. local time. And the results will be expected uh, in the next, next two weeks. Uh, there are about uh, 5,000 candidates uh, who are, you know, vying for more than 265 seats to the Pakistan Parliament. Uh, and uh, Nawaz Sharif is expected to make a return. This could be his fourth term. A lot of surveys and polls are predicting his return. Uh, but there's another candidate in the fray, which who is uh, Bilawal Bhutto, son of Benazir Bhutto. He is a former. Uh, foreign minister of Pakistan. He's an experienced leader, but he doesn't have the experience of Nawaz Sharif. And on top of that, Nawaz Sharif has the backing of Pakistan Army, which plays a huge role in its politics. So uh, it it is likely that Nawaz Sharif could return. On the other hand, there are some surveys and reports that suggest that it could be a hung parliament. There could be a no winner declared. So it remains to be seen what happens there. Uh, we'll Vishal, get to, yeah. No clear winner emerging at the moment, but also mm. take us through the kind of role that Imran Khan plays as far as these yeah. elections are concerned. So Imran Khan is behind bars. Uh, as uh, we all know, uh, he's been sentenced to in multiple cases. He's serving 10 years, 14 years, 7 years in three different cases. Uh, he has been disqual disqualified by the Pakistan Election Commission to uh, you know, run for office. But even then, he holds some kind of ground in Pakistan politics. He has uh, huge support across the country. His supporters have massed in support of him, uh, even though they have been detained and uh, there are reports coming in that some have been arrested in the last few months. Uh, but even then, Imran keeps making these statements uh, and says that uh, and has asked people to you know go out and vote in full numbers. Uh, it has been a setback for him politically. Uh, within two years of him being a prime minister, he's now languishing in jail, and his party's party symbol uh, has also been you know uh, declared, um, and it cannot be used by by the party. So. Uh, the the voters of Pakistan, they are not that educated. They would have needed that party symbol to you know identify which uh, which is Imran Khan's party. So that is also one of the big blows that Imran is facing. So it's mostly Nawaz versus Bilawal in Pakistan. And uh, the big question: uh, Who is Imran Khan backing? And of course, uh, the army there backing Nawaz Sharif. Uh, could he uh, be getting a fourth term? Is uh, the big question. We will keep tracking the developments there. Thank you so much, Vishal, for getting us all those details.